So I just did that minus that and got that. Wow, okay. Lost. Do, 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 do. Okay, and then it says, if the bullet exerted 5,150 newtons on the first block, how long did the bullet take to go through it? So this is a force time, is mass change in velocity one. Okay, so we're talking about the first block, and so this is all the linear thinkers. I'm solving part D right now. All right. This is the space I've carved out for D. This is uh, B here. This is C here, this thing, right? Here's D, let's do D over here, right? This is gonna be a force times time is mass change in velocity. Don't try to use energy, All right? So the force is 5150. The time is what we're trying to find. And then what are we talking about here, the bullet or the block? The bullet. Oh, and the block. Go through it. On the first, I think it's the force on the block, isn't it? Doesn't it say that? Yeah. It's the force on the block, so we need to use the block's mass. So the block's mass is 0 .400. Right, and then the delta V for the block for the block is seven, isn't it? Let's see if that works. You know, I'll, I'll, I'm going to retract this answer if we don't get the right answer. So five one five zero. Uh, whoops. Point four times seven divided by five one five zero. Yeah. It, yeah. 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 So it's five point four three six. 5.436 times 10 to the minus fourth seconds, which is 0 0.00054 seconds. Yeah? Generally, three zeros is like the limit of polite amounts of zeros. Two is really polite. What if, if you wanted to find the force on the bullet, right? You just do all you do is the bullet's mass and the bullet's change in velocity, right? But we, if we did that, we'd just get negative 5,150 because it's the equal and opposite force. Yeah. Are we okay? Are there questions on the first question? Are we all right? What's the what? Uh, well, if they asked that question, the bullet's change in velocity would be here, it's, here it is before, right? And here it is after, going through the first block, right? Be very careful, boys and girls. Let me warn you of this. I mean, just supposing that the test actually asks what's the change in kinetic energy, resist the urge to do 890 minus 854.1 and go 1 half m change in velocity squared. That doesn't work, does it? Right, do you remember why that doesn't work? Why, it's the same reason you can't go 9 minus uh, 5 squared minus 4 squared does not equal 5 minus 4 squared, right? Isn't that right? Because this is 25 minus 16, that's 9, right? This is 1, right? So, so don't do that. Do the kinetic energy and the kinetic energy and then subtract them. I mean, just, I'm just saying if, you know, if the test asks that question, right? 